Welcome, this is JP with Brizzy and in this layout overview video, we're going to look at one of the layouts that come within Brizzy Pro and this layout is called Advisors. Let me quickly first show you where you can find this layout. If you are on a page and this is already the layout, so I'll just show you where to get it. Go to add a new block and then layouts. If you don't see the layouts up here, it means you are using the Brizzy free version. This is only available in Brizzy Pro. Click on layouts and the very first one here, this layout pack business and financial is the advisors one that you will find. And I will show you at the end of this video how to import this layout into your page within WordPress. Let's go to the front end and then look at the five pages, home, services, pricing, about and contact that come within this layout pack. Here we are on the homepage and I just love how this homepage and the hero image immediately tells you what this business is all about. Business and financial consultants. It cannot be any clearer. Anyone who comes to this page will know, okay, consultants about business and finance. And that is what you want. You want that quick impact so that people understand. Now, what we've done here is that we've taken a block and we've turned it into a slider. So you can see there are three sliders here, but this is not a call to action. So there's no button or anything to click here. So when you're not working with something where people have to click, you can take away the scrolling features like the dot navigation and the arrow navigation. You can remove that because then you just let the slider play. Also, the other option is that we give you these three slides and you can choose which one you like and you can then delete the other two, convert it back to a block. Very nice hero image. Under this, we have a little bit about the company, about us, and this link here definitely will take you to the about page. And then a little bit about mission and vision. Under this, a quick view over services and you're going to see they have three services for this company here. But if you were to go and click here on view all services, it will take you to the service page and you will see there are more services there. This is not a one page website. So we keep most of the stuff for the individual pages and just a little bit of showcase on the home page. Under this testimonials, you have Julian Cook here. And remember, you're not gonna put a guy with a baseball cap here. You want to create a corporate image feeling. So make sure the testimonials that you use are people who look very fancy and snazzy and will be resembling the industry that you work with. And of course, people maybe that others can relate to, not your mother and not your father, unless they are very well respected in the community. And then at the bottom, you have a contact form with additional information here. Before we continue on to the next page, just a quick word on the contact forms that you see nowadays on sites. This has become a standard trend that you add this contact form basically on every page. This ensures higher conversion. It has been shown that if you only have a contact page and not contact form on every page, you actually lose people clicking through. You want people to contact you and engage with you. By having a contact form at the bottom of every page, those conversion numbers goes up, more people reach out to you, and that's essentially what you want. Let's go and have a look at the next part, which is our services. A nice hero image at the top. Again, I like it. Very straight to the point. Strategy, marketing, consulting. Boom. You don't need more. Looking then at the services, you will see these three that we had on the front as well as two additional services. If you click on view more, this will be your decision. You can either open a new individual page for that, or you can maybe make this a downloadable brochure or a PDF. Under that, we have the contact form again, and you will see every page, including the contact page, will have a contact form. Next to that comes the pricing section. Now here, uh, I'm in two minds whether a consulting business will have a pricing page because most consultants don't just openly publish their prices for two reasons. One, it is often quite extraordinarily high and that's why they don't want to put it on site. They don't want to scare you away. The second reason is that pricing for consultants is often done on a client to client basis. So you could consider taking this pricing page and then maybe say request a quote or make it a quotation page. Under this, a little bit about your services. And the reason why this is important on a pricing page is because 
you want to substantiate the price that you are asking. And to do so, you brag a little bit about how professional you are, how long you've been in the market and why you are the best. That just lays the foundation for people to choose your business and then not get a heart attack when they see the pricing later. Again, like I said, what you're going to do here, this will have to be up to you because consultants normally do not charge monthly unless it's a retainer. Again, to substantiate the pricing, here is a testimonial. And this time, is it the same guys? Yes, it's Julian Cook and Dana Rogers. You can have the same people or you can have different people even here. If it's going to be the same, you will take this block in Brizzy and make it a global block so you can easily use it across the site. And then when you make a change to one, it will update automatically to all the other global blocks. Contact form again at the bottom. Next to pricing is about mission, history and vision, a little bit about the company's background. And then here you have your vision and mission and then meet the team. Every time I work on this part of a site, I run into people who don't want their photos online. In the world we live today, you just need to convince them from the beginning your photo has to go online. It doesn't have to be. I've worked lately with CEOs and chairmen or chair people who refuse to wear a suit or a tie. They come in there as if they just woke up with their Mickey Mouse t-shirt on. And that is the image they want to portray. They want to look hip and they want to say, we are not stuck up, we are flexible. But get that image there and then like these four images, make them look consistent. Don't have one image done in front of an ice cream shop and the other one inside of the office. Try to give them some kind of uniformity. And then here the bragging rights, some of our clients, you have brands down here and then leave a quote again, testimonial, you see third time as well as your contact form again. So those are going to be your global blocks. The last one is going to be the contact form. Contact us will include your contact form and it's put here at the very top. When people get here, they can immediately, they don't have to scroll around. So this is also an interesting change. Often people would have taken the contact form first, had all the details and stuff here, and then put the contact form at the bottom. But this is reversed because someone who clicks on contact probably wants to leave you a message first. So by putting your contact form first, you allow them to do that easily. Then for those who want to go and visit you, the physical address over here, other information, as well as your schedule over here, and then a nice map. Great five pages in this advisor's pack that comes with in Brizzy Pro. Let's have a look for those of you who are interested in how do you bring this into Brizzy. So what I'll do is I'll just open a new page, go up here to new and page, and we'll just call this advisors. What is important? the decision whether you are going to use default Brizzy or whether you are going to pair it with a theme. What I'll be doing for this one is to pair it with a theme. And why Google says advisors? Ooh, okay, advisors. Uh, what I'm going to do with this one, I will be pairing it with the Astra theme. And you can also check out our theme partners at Brizzy.io. We have quite a number of theme partners that we work with. And in this videos, we will switch between the different themes. So for this one, I'm using Astra. Because I know I'm going to be using the theme, what I will do is I will first set my settings over here. I will put it on no sidebar and then full width stretch. And I'll disable the title and for measure also disable the feature image. Not that that is an issue. And if I've set up my transparent header, I will set that over here, but I'm going to use the normal header. So advisors, let's publish, publish again, and then edit with Brizzy. Now I have my empty page. The first thing I want to do is change the template. Go here to the bottom left and choose under page template, the default. And default means the theme template. So now up here, you can see my header that comes with the theme. Start building your page. You click here, go to layouts. And then over here, you will see the advisors click on that. The five pages are here. And what you'll do now is you will import them one by one. So if you start with the home page, then you will click on the home page and click here at the bottom, import this layout. Let's see, let's use another one. Let's go here for about us. This is just an example, import this layout and it will bring it into your page very swiftly. 
There it is, everything that we had to see before. If you don't want to use the theme, but you want to use the default, of course, you're just going back here to the bottom left page template and then put it back on Brizzy template. And then you will be able in Brizzy Pro to create your own header within the template up here at the top. Good, so that is our advisors layout pack within Brizzy Pro. For more layout examples, make sure you subscribe to YouTube because we don't only focus Brizzy Pro layouts here, we also feature the layouts from our partners. Many themes out there come with Brizzy layouts that you can choose from.